This is Grandma Sandy with story time again from my special grandson and all the boys and girls out there. Thank you for tun tuning in today. And the name of this book that I got from the Palm Beach County Public Library is called Don't Touch My Hat by James Rumford. I'm going to be playing two voices. The voice of Lil, his wife, the voice of the sheriff, and the voice of someone that's calling out to the sheriff. That's the third one. So I'm gonna have a bit of an accent here, so follow along. Out west, a lonesome prairie or two from anywhere was a town called Sunshine. Sunshine was smaller in most, bigger in some, but cleaner and more civilized than them all. Sheriff John saw to that, him and his 10 gallon hat. Why, with that hat on, he could round up rustlers, stop saloon fights and deliver ladies in distress. Bank robbers, train robbers, stagecoach robbers, any kind of robbers didn't have a chance against Sheriff John and his 10 gallon hat. Without that sweat stiff, trail dusted, bullet riddled hat, Sheriff John could do nothing, or so he thought. So when he was at the barber's, it was, fellers, don't touch my hat. Taking his Saturday bath, sugar, don't touch my hat. Before he turned out the light. Now, darling, don't touch my hat. Well, his wife, Lil, late of the Longhorn Saloon, felt just a little put out. Why, he thinks more of that hat than it does of me. Of course, she wasn't one to be shy about hats, neither. She had them all, red ones, feathered ones, veiled ones, hats made of straw, or velvet, plain fancy beaver, or fancy varmint. And yesterday, to top it all, she came a prancing home with the fanciest one yet. Oh, and so on a quiet western night, moonless and coyote-less, Sheriff John and Lil just turned down the light when the Old West went completely wild. Here's Lil's hat, here's Sheriff John's hat. Rustlers were at McDermott's ranch, robbers were at the bank, there was a fight at the saloon and the range war a brewing. Sheriff, yelled Deputy Bob, Sheriff, come quick, there's trouble plenty. No time for lantern lighting, Sheriff John pulled on his pants, jumped into his boots, strapped on his gun, and he said, I'm a-coming, Bob, just let me get my hat. Darling sugar, wailed Lil, half hanging out the upstairs window, but it was too late. Sheriff John and Deputy Bob were long gone. Sheriff John put his stop to the fight. He caught the robbers at the safe, rounded up the wrestlers, and made peace betwixt the sheep herders and the cattlemen. All before sunup, thanks to his trusty 10 gallon hat. But when he got back home, Lil was a waiting for him. Let's just say that Sheriff John had a lot of rethinking to do, best summed up by this It's your heart not your hat. Sorry, darling, I ruined your new hat. Sugar, I'm just glad you're home safe and sound. The end. So, I want to say, from my heart to yours, see you next time.